Hi everybody, how's it going? My name is Mike and I am the creator of the Behemoth Spry Stacking Game Engine. You're probably here because you're asking yourself one of two questions. The first one is what is uh, the Behemoth Spry Stacking Game Engine? And the other one is how can I use it? This first video is going to address the first question. We're going to explore what Behemoth is and what it can do for you. Well, the rest of the videos in this series are going to address the second question. How exactly can I use this tool? So, without further ado, let's jump straight into what Behemoth is and what it can do for you. So, for a bit of context, there are a bunch of great game engines that only handle 2D. For whatever reason, maybe it's the way they were designed, or maybe it was some sort of uh, budget constraint. They were only created to support 2D games. These game engines, however, amassed quite a following. And amongst the people who used it to make games were some very creative and intelligent people that decided, you know what, 2D, game, 2D games are just not enough. So they decided to come up with a technique called spray stacking that allows them to use 2D images and arrange them in such a way that the game they make, the game that they come up with, actually ends up looking 3D. Behemoth does the exact same thing, except it cuts the effort of the developer and takes care of all the implementation details for you. You don't have to take care of all the math, you don't have to take care of all the optimization and all the headache that comes with this technique. Because let me tell you, making it from scratch is not exactly trivial. But then you're asking yourself, why wouldn't I just make a 3D, ga 3D game engine? Like, why would I make a 2D game engine that's specially made to make games that look 3D? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, spry stacking was initially created to fake 3D games. But it also came up with a very, very strong advantage over classic 3D games, an advantage that not a lot of people pay attention to. The thing about 3D games is that they need 3D models to work. And the thing about 3D models is that they need a 3D modeling software to actually be able to be made. And the thing about 3D modeling software is that it's not easy to use. That's one of the things that detracted me from making 3D games for years now. I gravitate towards 2D games because I just can't be bothered to learn how to use Blender properly. And to be honest, I'm not that much of a great artist anyways. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to either make 2D games for the rest of my life? Or maybe the other option is buying models? Maybe. But maybe I don't want to make 2D games and maybe I can't afford to either pay an artist or buy tens and tens of assets for my game. What can I do then? Well, it's pretty simple. The thing about sprite stacking is that since it only uses 2D sprites, as long as you provide a good enough editor for this type of technique, you can use it to make 3D assets for your game, 3D looking assets, without actually 3D modeling them. How cool is that? So, in the end, you can end up with objects that look 3D and yet are only made out of 2D images stacked on top of each other. That's the magic of surprise stacking. Being able to make 3D games without the associated effort that's put in the artistic side of them. That's the magic of Behemoth. For the rest of this tutorial series, I'm going to show you what tools Behemoth includes and what kind of projects you can hope to make out of it. Anyways, thank you very much for following me for this uh, short presentation 
and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.